Hey my friends, how's it going? It's Ultimus, and today is going to be basically a two-parter video, and by two-part I mean not split into two parts, but covering two issues or two things, uh, first and foremost. In the background here, we have probably one of the best and worst uh, Overwatch games I've ever played, and what I mean by that is uh, from a mechanical standpoint, and actually playing Genji, as you can see here, this is probably one of the best games I've ever played. Um, and I was very happy about it, considering I was very down in the dumps recently about my ability to actually even play the game in the first place. Um, but, when I was recording it, like the previous match we had a couple days ago, uh, there was absolutely no audio for it. For whatever reason, uh, Shadowplay did not pick up my mic or the in-game sound. So, I was trying to figure out what to do with it, um, and I was debating just doing some commentary over it. But it's not quite as exciting, because I would have loved for you guys to have overheard my reactions to some of the crap going down in this video. It was crazy. I feel like I, I played so decently, uh, and I don't want to say so well, because I feel like that just feels pompous for someone at my level and area, but I played very, very well. I was very happy with it. Um, but I figured uh, since I'm making a vlog, I would throw it in the background of a vlog. So why the heck not? That way it's not just me staring at a camera and you looking at my awkward, ugly mug for 10 minutes is what this is going to go on for, which is about what I ramble for anyways. Um, what I'm making this about here is this is a thank you video to you guys and just to kind of touch base with you, um, we haven't done a vlog in a while, I've been really focusing on just doing gameplay as it is, uh, I really don't like to vlog for the heck of it, I feel like if I'm going to vlog there's got to be some purpose for it and there is a whole lot of purpose behind this one. Um, the other day I checked out my YouTube and we were at 299 subscribers and I was ecstatic because we haven't been at 300 in a few months. Um, and just, as I haven't been checking my subs over the past couple days because I've been like so nervous. I don't know why I was so nervous and anxious about it. I was honestly afraid to go backwards. Um, but uh, I, at some point between now and the past couple days we did it, we broke 300 subs again. Uh, we're back over 300, I believe we're at 301, which is ecstatic to me. And you might be thinking, what's the big deal? 300 doesn't really matter. Um, to, to me, it's everything right now, and this is why. A little bit of backstory. A um, couple years ago, when the Warlords of Draenor beta was going out, I got access to it. A friend was generous enough to give me a key that he had from going to one of the screening events of, I believe it was some of the trailers and stuff like that, and the cinematics and all that stuff like that. Uh, most of you, if you've ever been on some of the streams we do, uh, Rian Karis, he's a very faithful uh, friend and just follower and supporter of what we do here. Um, so we got access to beta, we had a lot of fun with it, we actually gained a lot of subscribers. I think we were a couple, we were maybe 15, 20 short of 400 subs, which is insane to me. We blew up uh, as far as I was concerned, because we went from, again, like 99 subs, 75 subs to almost 400 in the course of that beta. Of course, the problem with that was, as soon as beta died out and everybody had the game for themselves, nobody really needed my content anymore, if you see where I'm going with this. Um, and obviously, I'm no high-rated PvP or I'm no top-notch, you know, uh, Hearthstone player. I don't do mythic raids. Um, although, again, I would love to get into high-end PvP, and that's always constantly my goal, looking for people to play and queue consistently with. Um, but I digress. Um, so, unfortunately, with that came the dying out of subscribers, uh, and there was a lot of that on my part to do with that as well. Just trying to fill, still find my place on YouTube. Um, trying to fill, to still find my stride, and, um, and through that there was a little bit of rebranding for a little bit, and then reversing things and restructuring, um, in some very subtle ways where I don't think it was really noticeable or that big of a deal, um, but it was very important stuff, and I, I think th th why this is such a big deal and why this is so cool to me is because I feel like I found my place more or less or my niche, what I love doing between WoW and of course Overwatch now. Um, and that it's not necessarily about getting huge as much as now. I'm, I'm having, I'm in a place where I'm actually having a ton of fun with what I'm making and I'm having a blast talking with you guys. And I feel like uh, with you guys subbing and, and, and following what I'm doing here on YouTube, um, I, I feel like conversing with you guys has been wonderful and it's been really cool. And so... Uh, it almost makes me glad I didn't get into the Legion beta like I was hoping because I was like, man, if I can get into Legion beta, this will be awesome. We'll get some subs back. It'll be great. And then I stopped and thought about it. I was like, hold on a second. If we get into Legion beta, we'll just kind of have the same thing happen all over again. And I, I was almost glad that I was able to just focus on my live account on WoW, making as much beta content as we could 
based on what we had access to via Wowhead and Twitter and on paper and stuff like that, and then of course with Overwatch out, I'm almost glad we did it that way because I I feel like now, you know, some of the subs and, and of course you guys that are here that have helped us get back to over 300 are more likely to stick around, and I feel more comfortable with where we're at, and I'm more happy with where I at where I'm at. Um, because I was at a point where I was actually considering being done with YouTube simply because I told myself, okay, three years, if nothing comes of it, if we don't, if I don't feel like we have anything growing or worth continuing to contribute to YouTube, uh, then we'll be done with it. We'll say we tried. I can go to bed at night knowing, hey, I gave it a shot and it didn't work out. It's cool. It happens. Like you're not going to be successful at everything you want to be, right? But I feel like it's just been so much fun and it's been a blast and so I do want to truly say thank you um, from the bottom of my heart you know again I never thought the number 300 would be so important to me um, but here it is it, it means everything to me just the the consistency and then trying to find my place on YouTube and figure out okay who I who am I what do I want to be what do I want to do and it's not that I was trying to be anybody that I wasn't but just trying to find you know, what, what persona you want to carry on YouTube? Like, who do you want to be perceived as on YouTube? And I went on about this for a while, really thinking about this. Like, it was keeping me up at night because I wanted to make the best content I possibly could. And at the end of the day, I kept going back to, like, well, I just want to be me. I like, I like being me. I like being a dude who happens to go to work and works anywhere from 20 to 35 hours a week as a barista. You know, a dude who's married, who's got a kid on the way. Um, a dude who loves going to the gym, who also works with youth, um, who also just loves video games and loves talking about World of Warcraft and Blizzard games and anything else that I find to be interesting. And so uh, for you guys to be willing to sub and actually continue to watch the videos that are being made and to comment, um, YouTube comments can be scary. They can be very, very negative sometimes and, and almost frustrating of just like, why did that need to be said? Um, but you guys have been so lovely and so supportive lately. And so for the 300 of you here, and I know not all 300 of you are going to watch this, um, it's just not realistic, uh, especially because, again, I don't think I know of a YouTube channel out there that has a almost perfect sub to viewership ratio. Um, but to those of you watching it, thank you. Um, you make me so very happy. You bless me. Um, I, I cannot even begin to thank you. And obviously there's no money to be made in this for me. It's just, again, some dude sitting in his house making videos about World of Warcraft and Overwatch and anything else I happen to be playing or enjoying at the time. And you guys enjoying that too. Um, and I, I find so much satisfaction in that exchange. Um, I'm not trying to be anybody that I'm not. And I feel like in that end, it sets the, the bar of expectation fairly realistic in the point to where it's like you're not here expecting something that I can't provide because I'm not promising anything that I can't you know give you guys. Um, so... All that aside, again, I can't say thank you enough. It does mean the world to me. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to what the future holds as far as you know, all the games are covering. Um, after I get done with this video, I'm actually going to get working on some more videos because it's, talking about this and really thinking about this really drives me, um, really makes me kind of sit back and go, okay, what do I want to make next? Do I want to push the creative envelope for myself? Do I want to keep doing what I'm doing for now? Um, especially just with so many things going on in life. It's just so busy. Um, and since this isn't my full-time job, you know, a lot of times, sometimes videos have to boil down to, okay, what do I have time to make? And then, of course, then I, I allocate time throughout the week so I can make the videos I want to make. And so there's there's that push and that pull and stuff like that. But I've got more Overwatch videos coming for you guys. i got 40 more cases, or sorry, 50 more cases to open. <laughs> going for that Genji skin skill. Uh, fingers crossed. Of course, I've got Demon Hunter PvP coming your guys' way very, very soon. We're going to wrap up the um, Demon Hunter starting zone for WoW. Uh, Legion, of course, is right around the corner, so there's going to be a ton of content for that. Um, I'm trying, 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 and failing, but trying uh, to get a somewhat regular streaming schedule down. Even if it's just once a week, just hanging out with you guys. It'll probably be night streams, because, I mean, it's like, what, midnight right now? Eh, 11. It's usually when I'm actually able to be on um, for an extended period of time and stuff like that. Um, so again, it'll probably be nighttime streams, and I really want to get back into that. I, I miss that. Um, so of course, if you want to follow me on Twitch, there's a link down below in the video description as well, where you can uh, follow me there as well. So if you ever want to come hang out when we're streaming, you're able to do so. Um, but yeah, I, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing and having a blast with it, which I have no doubts we will continue to do. Um, again, just being some 
dude who loves video games and loves talking to people about video games and loves playing video games with friends and with family and with, again, you guys, which I consider friends anyways. Um, so, yeah, thank you, as always, from the bottom of my heart. But that pretty much wraps this video up. As you can see, we're about coming to the close on this game. We're just watching this game unfold in the back as I'm recording this as well. Uh, just makes me want to play Overwatch. <laughs> So, yeah, after this, I'm probably going to get going on uh, recording that case video. And, uh, unfortunately, we did lose this game, but I can't even I can't even be upset with how, how I played. Because, as you can see here, your boy got to play the game. Which, I don't know what that means. It might have been just the worst game ever and the most boring game ever that I got to play the game. But I'm proud of it, so there you go. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support, the love you show me, um, the things you continue to share with me, the conversations you bring to the comment section on my videos. Uh, it does mean the world to me, so thank you as always. Uh, if you're new here and you're just checking this out, happen to be on this video, and you haven't subbed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.